y'all? Today, we are doing a little renovation. Our coffee shop could use a makeover. We want to make a bigger hangout spot for our dolls. So, first things first, let's remove all the items that can be removed. Everything else has pretty much been glued down. So, I know I want to keep this. And the sign is pretty cool. But maybe this can go? This is our college dorm room that we made for Summer and Callie, but then they moved to a bigger room, so this space is not being used. And we have our doll bay window. I was thinking that we could combine these two to make a very large space. I'm thinking we need to go a little larger. So let's bring in our dining room and place it right here on the side. Clear out all the furniture. Okay, so now we pretty much have a blank canvas to work with. The floors don't exactly line up. This one has a shorter floor than the others. So we could pull it up to the front and that way we could piece them all together. Or if we push it back, we will get a little more floor space if we just piece this part. Maybe we can cover it with like a rug or something. That would keep this space a little more open. So yeah, let's do that. To connect all these pieces, I'm gonna use a large piece of foam board for the floor. Wow, that's gonna be 18 inches by 48. I've cut the foam board and I'm gonna glue it underneath. It takes two cut pieces to get the desired length. Use leftover foam board to patch the floor, then glue on craft sticks to cover it. I'm gonna use a top coat to give the wood just a little shine. Our walls don't exactly match up at the corners or across the top, so I cut strips of foam board to cover the gaps. Let's carefully remove the counter from the original coffee shop. I did a pretty good job of gluing that in the first time, but we got it out. I'm going to cover the front with a darker scrapbook paper. Let's cover the trim with a shiny foil scrapbook paper, and let's add some to the bottom as well. Taking ideas from the Barbie coffee shop, I'm using leftover black foam board, cut three rectangles, glue two onto the sides of one, place another piece in the front, glue a small piece right on top so it makes kind of a shelf. I add another piece of foam just so the back wall isn't quite so deep, add shelves, glue a foam board on top, glue foil scrapbook paper across the front to create a little lip, cut a rectangle of clear plastic from packaging, Fold over the sides. And that broke. Well, it was supposed to make a trifold, but I broke it. So, so I'm using clear tape to glue it together at the edges, round the corners, tape on shelves, glue it on top, glue it onto the side of the counter, cut a long piece of cardboard, cover it with paper, Use leftover foam board to make a thin counter. Glue the cardboard onto the back. Glue the counter on top. Glue our coffee makers onto the back counter. Let's add lots of little accessories like our Sharpie mugs, our Voss water bottles from a previous video. Let's add the snacks from our 14 Quick Crafts video. Then bring over all the other accessories from our coffee shop. Aw, I can't take my menu off without destroying it. So, I made a printable. All of our printables are available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. Cut it out, glue it onto foam board, glue it onto the wall. I fill this small shelf with books. We can add books to this shelving unit as well. Let's add that dark wood color over here on the bottom. Place the cushion on top to create a little nook. Let's bring in one of the tables from our coffee shop. 
And let's use the chairs from our IKEA dining room. I like the idea of mix-match furniture. Ah, I wish these shelves looked a little more full. However, they're not very deep, so... I took a picture of some books, printed it out, glue pieces of foam board together to kind of make a box. Cut out the printable, glue it on front, place it onto the shelf to make the shelves more full and uniform. I'm gonna cover this wall with some wood scrapbook paper. Okay, so that totally warmed up this area. Let's move on to this wall. Right now we have a little shelf here. I'm going to remove it. I only have one piece of this scrapbook paper left and it's not enough to cover this whole wall. So I cut a large piece of foam board to go right on the wall at the bottom. I cut a two inch strip and we're gonna glue that right on top. Cut triangles to glue underneath for support. I used the paper I had left to cover the rest of the wall. Place two chairs in front to give us another seating area where people can use their laptops while they have their coffee. We still need a place to store all these books. So I take giant craft sticks, cut off the ends and glue them onto the walls. Then fill the shelves with our mini books. Let's add our Wi-Fi sign from our doll neon lights video. Now we need something right about here. I'm thinking a large couch. Let's bring in Anna's couch from our peacock room. Add a few pillows. Maybe we can add a snake plant in the corner. This rug from our Amazon haul helps to bring all the colors together. We need more rugs. But for right now, I think this is totally a place that our dolls can hang out in. They can relax with their friends and enjoy a cup of coffee. For the finishing touch, Bella drew us a new Star Frogs logo where we can cut it out, glue it onto poster board, cut it out, glue thread onto the back, glue another one onto the back so the string is sandwiched on the inside, then tape it to the ceiling of the window to give our coffee shop a name. This is definitely a new look for our Star Frogs coffee shop with a lot more space. I like that we were able to bring the old counter into this new space with a new look and we recycled three doll rooms that were not being used and brought over some of their furniture items as well. Mini Toya has already claimed a spot on the couch where she can enjoy a cup of coffee in the miniverse. I forgot about the magazine rack that was in our old coffee shop. There's gotta be a place in here where we can use it. Maybe it can fit in that little space right there. Let's see. Look at that. It fits perfectly. Now we can fill it with our miniature magazines. These are all printables available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. They have real pages and real articles. Aw, teeny tiny Bella. Let's get these magazines on the stand before I spend too much time going down memory lane. That's cute. And it adds a little more detail to our space. Thank you for joining us while we gave our coffee shop a makeover and turned it into a fabsome new hangout for our dolls. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye! You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies.